Hello, welcome to Gemstone Tarot weekend reading for the 25th and the 26th of, I was going to say 26th of Libra, 26th of September 2021. <clears throat> we have some astrological news. Moon near Pleiades, star cluster in Taurus at dawn. Thank you. And we're going to have old schooly 1100 crazy fun and random facts that you won't believe held together with my beautiful bookmark. Look at that. Will that focus? Yes. High Priestess. That's pretty, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> the Stuffed Animal Hospital is a company that operates a literal hospital for stuffed animals. I used to have a, I don't even know if I've still got it, I had a cat <laughs> called Samson that had, um, weirdly, a really big, goldy-looking chain. <laughs> That's a bit mad. A bit like BA out of um, the A-Team. I know I'm getting on your plane. <laughs> a really big, chunky chain, Samson. I think it was supposed to be like a collar. It was well cool, very ahead of his time with Samson. God, I loved that cat. It's one of those where you hugged it so much all the fur came off, you know. The Stuffed Animal Hospital is a company that operates a literal hospital. They have hospital-like services, including rides in ambulances, examinations, hospital name bracelets, and they clean and repair toys to restore their health. I love that. A farm in Delaware makes mulch out of damaged retired US paper currency notes. An estimated four tonnes of cash is turned to compost each day. Oh my God, that's brilliant. <laughs> Trains that travel along the iron ore line down to the Swedish coast generate about five times the quantity of electricity that they use up. The electricity is used to power nearby towns as well as other trains. God, that's amazing. Clara Da Cruz Almeida, I'm going to say that better. Clara de Cruz Almeida, a South African architect, has designed a little portable house. It can be packed into a 258 square foot pod and be shipped anywhere. There you go. We are using the Dreaming Way Tarot. Itchy nose already. What do we need to know? We might even chuck a couple of Lenormans, only because I'm eyeing them up over there. They're on the table. Yes. Whew. What do we need to know? Weekend. Everybody's kicking back. Maybe. Is it the Equinox? Something around that, isn't it? Never remember when that is. Or is that already? No, Beam. I'm well behind the times. And... Sun's gone into Libra, Equinox has already been. Okay, ooh. Hello. Oof. Not doing reversals today. May not need to by the looks of these. Oof. So much cups. Oh, nice. That Pisces, um, I can't even say it. It's like the trauma. The trauma is still with me of that Pisces full moon. Um, cripes. A lot of you let me know in your comments. I think I put a community post. Also, I'm very interested to know that there's so much difference with who can get community posts and who can't, and whether you're on this tablet or that phone. I hope that YouTube resolve that because um, I love doing a community post. I love putting a poll up or putting a picture up. And, you know, I don't really have an Instagram or anything, so that, that's where I like to put my stuff. But, yeah, I can understand that half of you can't see it, so I hope that's not too frustrating. I'll keep putting it there and hopefully it will come in. Okay. I want to have a look at the cards. We're going in. We're going in. Oof. Look at that. We're going out. <laughs> <We're zoop. laughs> you can see. Let's move my little tripod. I know. 
I run a tight ship here at Gemstone Tarot. I have the technology, but yeah, that's about it. <laughs> okay, let's have a looky see. These are so gorgeous. I get a vibe of Lightseer's Tarot here. Overall energy card, which is hiding behind the box. <laughs> um, page of Wands. There's some urgency and fire signness about that, which I like, and youth and optimism and all that stuff. But I just wanted to hone in on these. Let's see if I can do it a bit more because there's so much cup action. I mean, look, we've got the Ten of Cups here. We've got it next to the Eight of Cups. And it's like, when you look at it on the table here, you can see this Ten of Cups is Mars in Pisces, it's happiness and it's, you know, the ultimate in, I suppose, relationship cards and stuff like that, but happiness, however that comes to you. Um, but the Eight of Cups is where you're walking away from that feeling, you're walking away from that happiness. And then down here, we've got the Ace of Cups. I mean, wow, self-love and the Five of Cups. Yeah, I know, exactly. And the King of Cups, who came up, I think, in reverse an awful lot in our dailies recently. And the Knight of Wands. So we've got Page of Wands, Knight of Wands. Frustration about something emotional is what I'm getting here. I'm also getting that it's good because we all, you know, it's never a bad thing to have the Ace and the Ten of Cups in a reading because the Ace of Cups kicks off the whole Cups Jamboree and the Ten is like the top of the suit and you've got the One and the Ten. It's like, hmm, bingo, you know? Yeah, if, if um, emotions were bingo, we'd have a full house. Oh, do you like that? That was good. Okay. So I'm quite pleased with myself. I'm like, ah, yes. There's thinking here. When I look at the three of pentacles, and I'll try and get a good look. Oh, aren't they lovely, these cards? This to me looks like thinking, and it's about cooperation. Three of pentacles is always about working with others, and are you on the same page? And... There's a feeling here that you might not be. And we've had this in the readings for a while as well. And then here, two fives. Fives are disruptors in tarot, as we know. <laughs> Let's try and get these aligned. We've got the five of cups here and the five of wands. And the five of wands is that kind of, you know, I cannot work out how this camera goes. Every time I lean it one way, it goes the other. Today we're just not going to work that out, I'm afraid. It will come in time, it will. Um, five of Wands and the Five of Cups is like regret over the past and sorrow, but also it's stopping you from moving forward. And then when you couple that up with having the Eight of Cups as well, such a beautiful Eight of Cups. It's like a kind of jester thing going on that I really like. Eight of Cups is when you walk away from something you love. It's Saturn in Pisces has that energy. So for some of you, this might be about calling a relationship out, um, whether that's a friend, whether that's a boss, whether that's a significant other. You, it feels like you're going to feel an urgency with this Page of Wands and the Knight of Wands. You're going to feel an urgency to call something out. Um, whether that's a good idea or not, I don't know. I suspect not, as we hurtle into Mercury retrograde but I also know, um, and I was talking the other day, I can't remember where, I think it was in one of the monthlies, um, when I listened to a really good video of Annie Botticelli, I think she's called, she's a really nice astrologer, really good. Um, she talked about Venus retrograde once, and I watched this video, and she said, the thing to notice about retrogrades is that all the things you shouldn't do, for example, Venus retrograde, have a radical haircut, you know? decorate your house in some kind of strong colour, you feel so compelled to do. I'm just going to get the card off the floor. So Mercury retrograde, of course, is communication. I think it's retrograde in Libra, one of you said, which is about harmony, relationships, Venus, all that stuff. You're going to feel like saying your piece and 
When Mercury's retrograde, it never resolves in that time. It just goes a bit weird. So I suppose if it was me, I wouldn't, but I'm not much of a blabber in that department. So you've got to do it your own way, but just be cautious about it. This is nice. The card I get for this is new life. This is taking you somewhere new, but you have to break the egg to get there, okay? As is always the case, and as is sometimes troublesome to us. Let's have an angel oracle card as well. Why not? It is the weekend after all. Oof. God, that came up yesterday or sometime or other. <laughs> Someday, I don't know. Music again. Okay, it may be weirdly better to communicate through a song and that won't be for everybody, but it certainly is for one or two of you. Music paints a thousand words, okay? Weird. Leave me a comment. Do check out your monthly readings for each individual sign. They're in the description box below. And do like, share and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Namaste.